Hello, welcome to Inner Fetish. I'm your host, Zeos Pantera, and we're going to play a fun game. We haven't done this in a while. Guess the price. Because I went to the review shelf of things that have been burned in but not listened to, and I pulled out the one with the wooden box. Turns out it's an EPZ. I've only just started getting EPZs on this table, and this one is in a wooden box. And I'm like, oh, shit. So based on this... Um, the nice tips, the well laid out EPZ, apparently the website is EPZSZ.com. You get some little white tips in those, you get the nice little thing. It's got interchangeable tips on the wire, listening to the sound quality, which is good. Like I, I put it on and I, you know, initially when you plug it, I usually start without music playing, but I plugged this into little Adam too while I was playing. I don't know, ooh, like immediate like push back, like, oh, that vocal's right there. Uh, I'm going to give you the description of the sound before we guess the price. I have a thought in mind. Let's put it on the uh, DR07. God damn it, DR07. Have a 4.4. I love this thing. It sounds great. I got to do the review of it. It needs a 4.4. Mm -hmm. Like... It's a very close, warm sound. I don't know what that how that is. It's like if you put on, like if you're sitting in one of those hair dryers the old ladies used to use in the barbershop, but it's just blowing hot air on you. This feels like that. You know what else felt like that? HE1. And I'm not comparing these to the fucking Sennheiser HE1 or if you're not doing that. Um, I'm just saying the HE1s have the amplification units for the electrostatic drivers are in the cup. What's running up the cord is actually power and signal to power them. So it's all preamp tube stuff, and then the actual power amps are in the headphone. So when you wear HE1, it isn't like, oh, I put on a headphone. You're putting on a warm set of headphones, physically. And this kind of feels like that, but not heat, because it's obviously not doing that. Let me go with this. I just want to give you a little bit of tidbit of knowledge. But there's definitely, like, usually when you get a really close or like a like small sound stage i am they're also very detailed and clean and this is not going for that sort of like just boringness it's going for a lot of warmth and energy Ooh. Ooh. like i like you know when you like this Ooh. it feels like that's happening inside my head they're really like deep it's like i'm baritone my brain has become baritone skipping hold on No, I ever knew. Go listen to the losing kind from the Black Steak Moan OST. I've had a lot of intimate IMs in this desk recently. I think Glacier may have broken my brain. Because Dunu Glacier is like so fucking wide. And I've been listening to it and I have to stop so that I could actually listen. Oh, by the way, another little tiblet. Tiblet. I took the stock cable, the MMCX cable, off the Glacier. The $1,300 Glacier, which is an MMCX fucking cable. And everyone's like, ah, MMCX is fine, or at least a few of you are. So I put the $650 goddamn uh, Viking weave with the best connectors on it, and it works. Except when I go to move the wire, it goes, eh. it just doesn't work. So that's why MMCX can suck my dick. Because as soon as you put a $600 cable on a $1,300 IM, because it's MMCX and the machining of this and that wasn't perfect, it's just something in the connections is not as good. You know what doesn't that doesn't happen to? Two pin. Um, so yeah, screw MMCX forever. Still love the glaciers, though. This has this warm vocal presentation. I'm going to skip ahead of it. So, all right. I'm going to say for this set of IMs, $420. 420 YOLO swag. Um, we'll see if I'm correct. I'm going to hit search on Google. EPZ. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, they're 700 fucking dollars. Ugh. Is it a stretch to go for $700? They're a 5BA, no DD. With professional tuning, ergonomic design, three-in-one gold, silver, copper cable with palladium and palladium alloy wire. I remember talking, speaking again about uh, Viking weave. He said palladium is a, is a material they use to tune wires. I don't think it's like gold. A gold wire is actually bad for signal. 
I mean, you put gold in your wire, you're trying to tune frequencies out of the wire, which is a thing. You can make a wire worse with materials, and then you can make a wire better with materials, or your wire is just a wire because it doesn't fucking matter. Palladium is a weird one. Apparently, you can get it in green or orange. Mine are the green variety. Dude, I don't know if these are worth seven. Oof. At least I wasn't off by half. I was only off by, like, what, 280 bucks? $285, because they're 70405, which I don't fucking understand that. Hmm. You get the real, real reviews when I don't know the price. I don't want to do it for every review, because that would just be abysmal. Although I've been getting pretty good at this. I just don't think EPZ is a big enough brand to garner a $700 price tag, but the other review ones I've reviewed are pretty fucking good. I mean, this is kind of shoddy, like the wood has still got splintering happening on it. These are a $420 IM. The fact that I even said they're that... If they didn't have a wooden box, would I have thought that? That is a real question, because I'm trying to go off all the information I have. S Sonion 5 Moving Iron Earphone. They still haven't figured out that we don't call that that in English. Hmm. I'm just saying, you know what? What IMs are worth is what it costs to you, to build them. So it could come with no wooden box. It could come with no case. It could come with no tips. It could come with a wire without fucking palladium in it, which let me show you the wire, by the way. Steal this for a second. So here's our detachable thing. Uh, it's it's kind of gaudy, like gold, silver, gold, obviously that. And then the palladium wire is like, it's an eight wire, but it's done like a four wire weave where you've got half silver, half gold. I'm sure there's palladium in that. Take them out of my ear, ears. I've got them currently running on Duno SS tips. They, I should have known they were a little bit more money than this when I saw that they were built the same as those really nice... Were those heavy IMs? No, those are Shanlings, where they're entirely made out of wood. For those of you who can get the camera to focus, I think I can get the camera to focus. These are entirely made out of... Um, I forget what the fuck... How do you... How do you what this process is called, where you literally inject wood pulp and fiber into a thing to make... To literally create them out of wood. But it's beautiful. Like, they are... This is no joke as far as looks. I'm not 100% sold on like the green mossy orange going on here with the gold. But again, I'm not the tastemakers in China who are designing these things. So you got the green, you got the gold, you got the wires. It's got a split. It's got this thing threw me off right here. Once you have the clear ball, I'm always like, all right, you're not a $500 IM. You've got the clear slider ball. All right, you know what? Sorry, smashed into the thing. Let's change tips. I did this last time, too, where I changed tips and it changed the entire fucking IM, which is why the Dunu Mirai video was 24 minutes long, because I'm a dumbass. And instead of stopping the camera and starting again, I wanted to give you guys my raw reaction, which I hope you appreciate when I do things like that. If the video comes out a little bit longer, it's because I want to... It's more fun if we're discovering things together. If I had a prepared full review, someone was yelling at me like, Zeos, you got to check other prices on other sites. Like, if Linsol sends me this, I check on Linsol. If HiFigo sends me this, I check on HiFigo. They're sending me IMs. They're going to get the links. If you find it cheaper elsewhere, by all means, I'm not stopping you. It's not that I don't want to do research. It's just, frankly, I, it's more, I have to be tolerable, man. I do these things, hundreds of these, hundreds of them. And I want them to be fun. For me. Okay, hold on. I gotta see if that's the amp. Where was I in last here? God damn it. B4.4. I think we're just going on to the Burson's murderously soundstage. Usually, I don't feel like there's a lot of difference when you're going between amplifiers on a full BA rig, which this is, five BAs. But that actually adds a great deal of soundstage to this whole thing. Are you going to blow me up? 
Pretty much. You're like in the middle. You're like medium soundstage. You're more forward. So now we've got an IM that is kind of a chameleon as far as changing what's going on. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go straight to the big boy. That might be the most forward, but it's also raising the treble a little bit. Which I'm not against, because it's making it less soft. Interesting. You know what? I did I did warm up. Hold on one second. We warmed up the tube, which BAs and tubes usually not a thing, but... What the fuck song is this? This is from Evangelion. Lost in the Memory. From 4.4.4 or 4.44. I'm putting that into the sound demo test. How did this song start? Okay, so here's the deal. Render tips on, a little more seal. Fine. I, you know, it's not doing a lot, but I feel like you want a good seal. Amp, 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 different. Tube amp. I might give these a $700 pass. That said, not many people are going to be running their IMs off of a strict tube amp. But fuck. Not but fuck. But, comma. Fuck. Just the, the way that opened up just there. I would have definitely... Alright, if I would have listened on the tube first. If the tube amp was what I went with, and the render tips are what I went with to do the judgment... I would probably guess the price in the 500 to 550 range. I, I don't know how I can quantify what the whole thing sounds to how much it costs, but I mean, that's literally kind of my fucking job. So just accept these facts. Also, why call it the 530? Are you trying to, you know something about me and my JBLs, which are not on the shelf because they're actively in use? Oh my God, I just thought of an active set of JBL Studio 530s. That would be amazing. All right, this fucking sounds amazing here. Fuck. Do I put up against like? Because once we get a, once you get, I think once you're past five hundred, you guys tell me in the comments. Once you're past five hundred, are you just like whatever? My budget is over five hundred, but I could spend under a thousand. Like, is that it? Because I feel like no one's got a six hundred and twenty-one dollar budget, and you can't go to six fifty. Once you're spending hundreds of dollars on the IM. You may as well loosen up your belt and just get the best thing in the price range. And the range, for me, personally, if you wanted a $500 budget, you had better be willing to stretch up to 1000 Spend double. Because you're, you're obviously crazy because you're spending over $500 on an IM. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, you can get, like, fucking Dunu Zen Pro or Mon... What are Monarchs running? Are they under a grand now? You get the Marais, which I are special, but uh, are these doing something other than on a tube? Over here, if I pull this out, I pop it into the Irelic. The odd oddilic. Actually sounds pretty good too. They're fucking clean. Alright. There I, I can't. I won't deny their existence just because they're more expensive than my mind was able to guess, but all right. If you own these, please let me know if you're thinking about spending, what's your budget? If you're thinking about spending $700, then this is over your budget because it's $704 and five cents. I can't, I don't know why these prices work. I kind of want more accessories for that amount of money, though. That being said, like the, the one of my favorite IMs, which is the, uh, the Soft Years Twilight, that's a $900 IM. Doesn't come with a wooden box, so this is already ahead of the game, even though it's is a... Uh... Here, wait, let's pull this out. In there is where the tips and stuff were. Kind of interesting, they just let you, like, bend the foam up. I've not seen that before in a box construction. Ah... Uh... 
I might my brain chemistry might have changed if I had known the price before I started this review. So it's better if you get it like this. Because now I'm trying to work it out. I'm trying to work it out. Rich combinations and ergonomic designs. I'm just reading shit off this. The wire is probably expensive as fuck. If you were to buy this wire on its own, it'd probably be two hundred dollars. Although again, the clear ball bothers me. This is that shit they put on like cheap IMs. And the the weave is nice. Like it's nice enough. It's nice enough. I think people are gonna go out and they're gonna be like, I want to get a real wire, which would be either my purple asylum cable, which is that's that's a why it's a man's wire. Go get some men. Go to a bar. And, play patty cakes in the back and here's the fucking do new wire with the mmcx which i'm so just uh anyway patreon subscribe star no one i don't know how long how long have they sent these to me so i don't think anyone really cares like none of the companies care like linsole hype go they send things or headphones.com will send things and they're like here check this out release the video review whenever we trust you be honest about it we want people to use it as a catalog that's why the channel here it's everything, like, if you look at the videos, there's no clickbait. It's just the name of the IAM, the name of the channel, the name of the IAM, that's what's in the thumbnail, and that's it. If you come here to watch this, you're either interested in these IAMs, or you already fucking own them, and you're looking for, for a compliment, confirmation bias, or confirmation. They're good. They're really fucking good, and they're even better on a tube, and that's all I can give them is, is like, a full... I'm going to give them an, an eight... 8 out of 10. If they had more accessories going for them, they had a, a nicer carrying case than this. The wire wasn't so fucking ugly. Excuse my other wire. That's not ugly. If they came with a little bigger selection of tips, like they don't even have foams in here for you to try. I feel like maybe I could have squeezed these up to a 9. But for sound quality alone, they're, on a, they're a definite 8. And if you're looking for something that's a little bit more warm, not like... Not A-shaped, which would be mid-range boosted. Just like slight low-end bump, riding into the upper, the lower mid-range. And the treble is just enough. It's just enough. It's not like dull. I'm trying to describe sound without them playing in my head, and that's very difficult for me. My brain doesn't have a lot of uh, RAM installed. I need to download more RAM from my brain. Fuck, I just wish, I wish I knew why they were so expensive. If you find these on sale for $500... By all means. Like, literally. Buy. By all means. Also, check out my, um, if you can't find it, through my social links in the thing. I have a public Z Reviews Telegram, which occasionally I will answer your questions there if you're not paying the Telegram one for patrons. Which, check out my Patreon and subscribe star. Also, if you're looking for more IM reviews that are not currently live, you usually can find a handful of unpublished but still accessible reviews on my Patreon and Subscribestar for IMs. Because I don't hide those behind the paywall. The actual Patreon and Subscribestar uh, helps support the main channel. If you're looking for more things that I haven't done yet, check that out. I'm trying to build, like, I want to have, like, 30 IM reviews. But I'm trying not to also be a piece of shit about it and making them in, like, five minutes. This one actually took some time. I just didn't get to play with this tip combination on that. Which changed my perspective just a wee bit.